Italians always say a building has a warm ghost and this studio just feels like the walls have stories to tell. Yeah, um, a lot of stories here. This is where we recorded last few records and mm. particularly our latest ones. So no, it's been, it's like a gang hut for us down here. Uh -huh. yeah. This is where we come yeah. to hang out together and make the music. We're, we're rehearsing here as well. So it's like a home from home sort of thing, you know, it's got everything, you know, in the one place. If you offered us in what's the big studios, in the world, yeah, you know, we'd be happy to deliver. I mean, yeah. you know, I think we just do a better job, as good a job. Yeah, well, there's, than, so, there's some history there. from it as well. So, the famous studio is uh, Sam Studio, yeah. where uh, Led Zeppelin, yeah, yeah. Studio. Yeah. so where uh, Led Zeppelin, mm -hmm. uh, you know, recorded the big live aid uh, yeah, right. song, where you know, do they yeah. know it's Christmas? Yeah, yeah so right. we recorded down there with Trevor and his team. When that studio closed, we've got all the studio doors. Mm -hmm. Freeze that, freeze no way! Yeah, that's, 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 you're that's, kidding. These that's are original a, yeah. studio. Well, that's a classic style. Glasgow story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't tell them. They, they, <laughs> they were a hell of a job <laughs> getting them up in the train, <laughs> right? But I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs>in the park off the telly in 1994 I think uh -huh. must have oh been God. and that the gun performance one. was yeah. phenomenal I think Oasis played it they did War. Pulp yeah. Rage, Pulp against, yeah. the Rage, Rage against, against the Machine would well. have been top of the bill yeah, yeah. yeah. the nostalgia is a big thing isn't it but Paul after everything you've been through in the last year or so <laughs> It does have an extra significance, doesn't it? Oh, no, no question about it. I thought it was game over uh, mm. when I got uh, my fairly serious um, you know, diagnosis with quite a poor prognosis, but it most certainly changed my life and I appreciate everything so much more. Mm. Everything is much more significant. Every show I do now, every song I play, you know, it's in my heart that this might not have been mm. and I'm so lucky. Yeah. And yeah. How important was the camaraderie and brotherhood? Of these guys to get you through the darkest days. Did, did they no make doubt. it a lot worse? Yeah, there's no <laughs> doubt about it. But when I came in with the bad news, you know, the initial response was, "Will you be able to do these drum tracks?" <laughs> when I did recover, and there was euphoria of yeah. recovery and getting back in the studio to do the rehearsals for shows that were coming up. So it was a big deal to me, so I came in all, you know, bright-eyed, bushy, bushy tail, my, my drum tets, got everything all ready for me. And I said, where's my drumsticks? <laughs> Wayne, where's my drumsticks? Where's my drumsticks? He says, are there? I've been no. the flight case. Hang on a second. He scurries off. I, I'm lucky that I'm sponsored by a drum company and they've got my name and all that on it. Anyway, there were none. <laughs> so where the hell so then they two are walking about looking sheepish. And the, sto the true story is... On the previous yeah. acoustic tour, they had been selling my drumsticks <laughs> on the merch stand what, three times the three price, price. So, on the Can basis that, you know, Paul, Paul's not coming back, right? It's game game oh, over. So. Did you get a good price for them? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> However, when I've recovered, all the people that have paid money for it are now looking for their money back because I've survived. <laughs> Still there. On the drive through today, I had the new EP on, and it was overwhelmingly positive, up really loud in the car, put a massive smile on my face. Brilliant. And it did cross my mind, is this because you've had this epiphany and this realisation that there's something magical to share between you? There is no question that, you know, we, we got in a good place, but I'm sitting next to two of the geniuses of the mm. music business, and, you know, for me, they're the two best songwriters Mm -hmm. There is, there is, no, there is, you know, the, Thanks the, the nobody was, more humble. Yeah. But well, hold on they, your sticks for whatever you. it was that motivated <laughs> the, yeah. you know, to come up with the ideas yeah. and to work together and whatever, you know, that, it comes from a very, very special place mm -hmm. within them that is, mm -hmm. you know, hard to describe. We wanted to write an album that everybody could hear mm -hmm. and everybody could see, everybody could go to a show, uh, you know, and and see the band perform live. I think. It was the most enjoyable recording session that we had. Mm -hmm. I just think it was just there was a vibe in here.
it's the other so thing about Lucky Guy is that it's going to feature in the upcoming Samuel L. Jackson movie. So I hear it's an amazing thing to get yeah. these uh, songs on it, uh, and mm -hmm. whatever ends up in the cut. Uh -huh. I mean, to be you know to have several mm -hmm. songs on a major yeah. Hollywood release, mm -hmm. it's just yeah, mind blowing yeah. for us, you know. Here's an offer for you. How about coming to uh, St. Luke's? We'll get a mic set up uh, for you. Come definitely. Up and, come up and do some vocals uh, and I'll experience. Bring Laura Boyd, she's a proper singer. <laughs> <laughs> no, Laura, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Good.